Welcome to the vlog. I'm gonna take you in the thrift store with us. Happy Thursday. It'd be cute for the 4th of July. You can put something in there. Here's some cookie cutters. A bear. I guess they're both bears. That's a pretty play in there. Oh, look at that. Uh... Johnny, where are you at? Come over here. Child running all over the place. There's some old Tupperware. Oh, no. Look. Look. I got one of those. So, I want something to put my syrup in. I found these two things. Do you know I saw those? Yeah. I saw those at, um, It might have been at that Hope place in Bone Springs, that thrift store, and they were selling them for like $10.99 or something like that, a piece. And I was like, I just, yeah, I was like, I just saw them at the thrift store. Oh, look. Uh, it's not the same, though. It's not. I've got, I bought one of those, but it's not. Why do I want this? Because it's cute. Because it's old fashioned. Eggnog. It's a red truck. Look how cute that is. Home Essentials. If you know what this is, tell me. Hi guys, so we're back from the thrift store and I had no intentions of buying anything. <laughs> But I found a few items that I just could not live without. And um, because we always go into this thrift store, we are like, they gave us a 10% off every time we go there. A 10% discount. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I came across these two, um, like, heavy crystal salt shakers and the ones we have 
I think it might have been ten thousand dollars. I don't even know. So these are the ones we have, which they're heavy, but they're you know all dinged up. But you know they still work. I'm still keeping them. Um, but these are like older, older ones. I just like the way they look. They were a dollar, I think. So for the set, so I couldn't pass them up. So I got those. Uh, and then I wanted something to put my syrup in. Um, and I saw this and I thought that would be cute, you know. But I don't know for storing purposes if I like this thing. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't know. But I think this was $1.99. They had another one that I probably should have got. But anyway. And then I found this shaker box and I just thought it was so neat that you guys look at the you guys see the little I couldn't leave it. And these, you know, are worth some money. Um it has a C B for the initials for you know the whoever made it, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, so I have no idea when, how long ago it was made, like if it's like, you know, really old or if it's not, you know. Nonetheless, it is just, you know, I think this was $2.99, I think, or $1.99. $2.99, so this was $2.99. If you look these up on eBay, um, they actually sell for you know a good bit of money depending on you know who made it what it looks like you know all that so I don't know who CB is but I just I just liked it so a shaker box is like um, way back when they would make them to store stuff in them in your pantry like your dry goods or whatever you just store your spices in them you know um, I know like they would also store like sometimes they would store their their threads or you know that kind of thing in them so yeah I just thought it was really neat to actually you know see one there so I got it and then this was the last thing right here last but not least um, and I've been wanting so you guys know I've been today I'm wearing my googly eye earrings so I have a lot of earrings of different you know things so I thought this would be perfect it's $4.99 he's hanging on the wall and it has the somebody obviously made it. it has a little shelf and then it has hooks at the bottom where you can hang necklaces or you can hang like you know bracelets or whatnot for $4.99 I thought it was very cute. So I was like, I wonder if you can change it out and paint it. And I'm like, you know what? I kind of like it the way it is. So, uh, yeah, those were my finds at the thrift store. I, uh, I sold, I don't know if I mentioned I sold, I'm trying to get this earring back in my ear and it's not going. There we go. I sold one of Strolly's books. Uh, homeschool books on eBay. So I sold one of Strolly's books on eBay, so I just, and that money was deposited today, so I had a few dollars to splurge. Uh, and I had a lot of comments. People are like, hope your business picks up, blah, blah, blah. So yesterday was, let me just, let me just talk to you for a minute. So yesterday was a, um, just, it started out really good so let me let me just let me just walk you through it okay so I start I woke up this yesterday and I had sold a ribbon trim outfit which that's you know they sell I sell them for anywhere like 55 up you know and I think this one was a $60 sale so I was really excited about that and I sold a shirt so this is 
like when I first get up in the morning and I, you know, check my phone or whatever. And I saw those. So I was like, oh my gosh, I got two sales, which is really good because it has been so slow that it had been days since I had any sales. And so I was like, oh wow, you know, this is great. Things are picking up. You know, I actually made some money. I think it was like the total. I was already at 80 something dollars for the day. So I was really excited. And then um, I had reached 4,000 watch time hours on my YouTube channel. So I could apply to be monetized. Um, so I went through all of that and you know, it was like you, I have to, I had to wait to hear back from them and it said it can take up to a month. So I'm like, okay, so within a month I should be monetized, you know, so I was excited about that. And then, you know, nothing, you know, it was just a normal day, clean kitchen, went on about my day or whatever. And then I sat down around three o'clock or three, I think it was like 3.15ish. And I was like, well, let me watch my video on the big TV before I post it. So I was sitting there watching it. And then I get an email and it was Etsy saying legal, you know, thing that I, you know, went against their guidelines or whatever. And it's like a, what's it called? Infringement. And I'm like, I don't sell anything. Um, so I'm... Uh, when I started selling on Etsy, it was 2009. So Etsy has changed so much in the overtime. So when you first, like way back then, um, they didn't have a lot of, I mean, I'm sure there were some set rules in place, but it was like, it was pretty much a free for all. Like people would make, you know, Elmo tutu dresses, like red, um, like all red tool and put like make a face out of felt that resembled Elmo and you know and you could sell I won't I don't think you know it was actually legal to sell these uh, like items copyrighted items but back then there wasn't a lot of like rules in place you know so it you know like I said it was you know it was at the beginning I think Etsy had been around for maybe uh, a year two years at that point um, I actually was on Etsy before 2009 um, like when it first started but I wasn't selling um, I would be I would be shopping like looking I would buy little dresses for Sterling um, and stuff before I would make them so Sterling was born in 2007 and I think it was right around the end of 2007, early 2008 is when I started to shop around on Etsy for stuff and I didn't actually join Etsy as a seller selling my items until 2009. Anyway, long story short, so I've been on there quite a long time and I have, you know, stuff that I have sold that is now, you know, frown, frowned upon and, you know, you can't. And if you honestly think about, I mean, I understand that thing that people, let's say these characters are copyrighted and, you know, I understand that, I understand it, but it's also an, uh, an art, art form, if you will, for you to create something, um, whether it be embroidery or if you're painting something or, you know, drawing something, let's say you drew a picture of Winnie the Pooh and you just really admire that character and you know other people would admire this painting and you want to sell it you know it, you can't do that it gets copyrighted you know what I mean so um, anyway long story short I had some a ton of stuff in my deactivated listings I deactivated them when you know they're like you can't sell these things um, you know I say it was around 2007 18 somewhere in there is when they really like got really strict about it so I'm like they're like oh we can you know um, take away your shop if you are caught so I'm like okay I don't want to get caught so I deactivated like everything just deactivated it didn't think anything else about it um, during that time the only one that I was selling 
was Jojo Siwa and I just called her the big bow girl and she was my top seller and that's how I made my living during that time and so then you know things got a little bit tighter so I'm like mm, all right deactivate so I had everything deactivated um, probably around 20 20 ish 20 somewhere in there maybe even before 2020 I don't know anyway um, and then yeah so I didn't have anything everything was on non copyrighted and so I do recall there was a time when somebody wanted so this is where I wanted my PJ mask um, so I did activate that one and then I did deactivate it again and so the last time I sold it was in 2020 the last um, time the thing was renewed was in 2022 and I don't I don't so I'm like I'm like why why would it been because I wouldn't have renewed it anyway long story short they got me they dinged me or whatever copyright infringement whatever um, on PJ mask which was just the fabric inside of a number uh, that was in my deactivated listings so after I got that and I'm like what and I was so confused because I'm like I don't have anything for sale so they dinged it in my deactivated listings so my shop is not doing good anyway so if you do get dinged or whatever it does like you know you're in an algorithm so you just kind of got to build your the more you sell the more you're you know hyped up um, at least that's the way it used to be I don't know if it still is or not but I haven't been getting any sales so what do I know um, and so I'm thinking well this definitely is knocking me down you know one week I made $10 the following week last week I made $50 I'm like, so definitely not going to make anything this week. And I just got two sales and I thought I was doing good. So, you know, it was just a real downer that they had flagged something that was in my deactivated listings. Had I have known, I would have just deleted all that stuff to begin with. But it was just kind of out of sight, out of mind. I didn't want to even look at my deactivated listings. So anyway, and then I deleted everything, anything that had anything to do with any. I deleted it unless it was Valentine's Day, Easter, or Christmas, or Thanksgiving. Um, it was gone. So that was around 3:30. I just did a click all, delete all, click all, delete all. You know that kind of thing. And then around 4:50, I get another one saying Peppa Pig. The only Peppa Pig that I had up there, Etsy had already dinged and deactivated themselves probably in 2017 18 somewhere in there it's been i know it was probably around journey like when she was baby i remember making one at the kitchen table because i was pregnant um and I think that was probably the last one. And after that one is when they dinged me. So it's been a long time. So they deactivated it. And so I just left it. I didn't do anything with it. I didn't delete it. I just left it because they're like, oh, don't sell this. You you know, so I'm like, okay, I learned my lesson. I'm not going to. And so I did, you know, didn't have it. So anyway, I got two of those back to back. And I'm like, and it even said, you know, this warning thing come up and that if you have any more we could take away your star seller status or deactivate your account so of course I'm like all frantic and upset about that because this is my income this is how which I'm not really making an income right now right um, so I'm like what else am I going to do what else is there you know what I've got these machines. I know there's other outlets. Etsy is not the only place that I can sell things, but it's just a more comfortable place for me to sell things, if that makes sense. Um, just, you know, if you go somewhere else, you gotta start over. You have to learn the different websites and how they sell and how you, I mean, even eBay is confusing to me. And, you know, I used to sell on there. Before I sold on Etsy, I sold on eBay. So anyway, long story short, I was very upset and I'm like 
what else is there for me you know and I was like praying like what do I do you know God show me what what is if this is not what I'm is this a sign that this is not what I'm supposed to be doing like am I not supposed to be putting all of my effort and time into embroidery and selling on Etsy if it's not going to work out for me you know is this a sign that I'm supposed to be doing something else and so um like probably within 10 minutes of me going through this big emotional, you know, crying and uh, everything, uh, I got a notification that says, congratulations, you've been monetized. So I'm like, is that a sign? Like, am I supposed to be putting all my effort into my YouTube video? <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, I just wanted to share that because it was just very so yeah I am not my channel's monetized now I'm so excited um that just means that you have to get like a thousand for every thousand views like you get so much like it's not a lot but if you put a lot of videos out and pe a lot of people watch your videos and you know then you can make some money but on my other channel I basically made about a hundred dollars a month if I would meet you know sometimes it would be like ninety eight dollars they don't pay you unless you get to a hundred so a um, hundred dollars that is so I'm hoping you know at least maybe I can get back up to where I was making that hundred dollars a month I mean it's not much for the amount of time and effort and all that that goes into making videos but it's something that I enjoy. So anyway, I just thought I'd just share my day with you because it was just, it was one of those, you know, in the end, there's nothing I can do. Yes, I was in the wrong because I originally did create these items and make these items that were, you know, against their policies. But from going way back, you know, I mean, there's no, really no excuse for it, but everybody was doing it <laughs> but I'm like yeah hopefully you know I did get a sale today so I'm hoping that it didn't hinder me or anything yeah so I am getting ready to make lunch I'm making me an egg salad sandwich um, my eggs are over in the sink cooling but I wanted to share the items that I got at the thrift store you know it's like it's not, I don't know, you know, sometimes when you're, what did my friend say? My friend really used to call it retail therapy. Like if you're feeling down or depressed about something, you know, even if you go and window shop, you know. But yeah, I was really excited about this little shaker box. I thought it was cute. And my shakers. <laughs> I got some shakers. Anyway, um... I gotta figure out what we're gonna eat for dinner. So I don't know if I went over my menu. Um, it's another cheap week. Like I said, I made $50 last week. So um, I think I spent a total. Did I tell you guys? I showed you guys what I bought. I, bought, I spent like $16 at Aldi's and I spent $65 at Walmart. Um, the meals were fajitas, which we had yesterday. Um, we've got Manwich, which is a really cheap meal. We got barbecue, um, and the chicken soup, the chicken, it's like a creamy taco chicken soup. Oh, I've made it before, so, and then, what's the other meal, guys, what's the other meal? think of the other meal did I buy one Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday wait Wednesday Thursday Saturday Monday so I still have to figure out what's for Sunday dinner anyway I'm gonna make my egg salad
of an inch. So is there any spot of squash we gotta pick? I don't know if you guys can see. We gotta figure out how to get to it. Mom, don't step on that leaf or that bug is. Watch out for the pokey things. Pokey things. That's cool. No! There's green beans in here. Oh, get them! Mom, do you need my shovel? Oh, okay guys, so we've I, got, I planted three squash plants. Guess what, Mom? Well, maybe four. Guess what, Mom? Something fell here and is growing. I don't know if it's a pumpkin Ow! or a watermelon. 
That's what it looks like. So tell me. Mom, guess what? I'm gonna guess, pumpkin. Mom, guess what? What? I I am allergic to pumpkins. You are? Why are you allergic to pumpkins? Mm. That poked me. Oh. No, stop in my thing. Ow. Tomato. I like that. <laughs> Bring your basket. Why I got my cream, got my friend. You got your friends. Mm -hmm. Okay. There. We got the one on in here. Squash. So we gotta pick a squash. Mm hmm I see. Okay. Mom, just leave it right there. Just they can, okay. they can see it through that little hole there. Okay. See. You want me to pick it? Uh huh. Oh wow, that's a big one. I just barely found it. We got some that are about to grow. <laughs> yeah, that's a long one. Should we pick some cucumbers? But you better not eat our cucumbers. There's one behind there. There's one over here. You want to pick it or should I? Where is it? Mm -hmm. I said, your toe! Um, you can. Oh, we got a baby one. Look how cute. We got one running right there. Very cute. Mom, I want to pick that one behind there. Okay, I'm back over here. I got to get. Okay. I can get to it. I don't remember where it was. I see one. Hmm. Well, somewhere over here. Mom, I really see one. Okay. <laughs> but there was one over here. I was going to grab it. And I do not see it. Got it. Got it. Where's it? Oh, there. Okay, we got one down. Three more to. A lot more to go. Mom, open the waste pen a little. That way I can get through because there's one behind there that we have to pick. Okay? Open it carefully. Mom, put it where you can see me, okay? I'll be in the vlog to film me. Just feel me look at it, okay? Okay. Oh, it's right! It's right. Mom, go inside my toe! What? My toe! Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Mm. What is it? Mm. Okay, hold on one second. It's right. I'm... What happened? I hit it with a camera. You hit it with a camera? Uh-huh. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, don't leak blood all over. Get you a towel. Just go over to the sink. Did it fall out? Uh oh, not yet. I love y'all. I love you. Be careful. Oh. <laughs> 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 
It'll be okay, sweet baby. It hurts, but it'll be okay. Okay guys, it is dinner time. I got Journey settled down. I'm watching a little Scooby-Doo. Uh, we are having manwich tonight. Um, the other two options required like the crock pot, like if I was gonna do, oops, if I was gonna do barbecue sandwiches or if I was going to make the, you're okay. The, um, the creamy chicken taco soup. So I just have the burger. I'm gonna brown it in just a regular, just a regular pan pot, and then I've got water going for this. This is what Sterling had requested, so I figured we could pair it with, because she doesn't like manwich. Um, she doesn't like really any hamburger thing. Uh, so and. Ever since I was a little girl, my mom would always, we'd always have corn when we had manwich. So it, now it's like, I have to have those tastes together. Um, so yeah, we'll have manwich, we'll have this pasta, and then we'll just have a can of corn on the side. So that's what we're going to have. I'm starting it right now. It is 545. I still have to go outside and um, finish what I was doing. You come bearing gifts? Luke's been working on top of them. Where's your basket? Over there. Papa got it. Yo, goats. That corn. I think so. Well, they eat cucumbers. Well, the chickens eat cucumbers. Yeah.
I'll get this old basket. <laughs> I thought they'd eat it. I thought the goats would eat it. Yeah, they they would probably eat it better than mine. Yeah. They will but right now. They hunting green stuff. Boy, I'll let you out. Don't make me chase you around. When it's time to go to bed, you won't, right? You're gonna be good, right? Yes, yes, gonna be good, yes. You're not gonna make me chase you around? No. Going to be good? No, you're not going to be good. Boy. Are you going to be a good boy? Uh -uh. Check this out, homie. Uh -huh. Is that the one you were trying to get when your tooth got knocked? See what we can do here. There it is. Rant. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys. I got my basket back there. I got my basket back there.